Here's some stocks to buy for trading week of August 10th that could go up quite a bit. If you're coming for my TikTok, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future stock content. So first, I'm going to quickly recap all the stocks that I talked about last week and how much they all went up by and if they're still good buys this week. The first stock that I talked about last week was ATNM. ATNM, they announced a reverse stock split that's coming, so they dropped by like 20%. I would, I would do right now is average down because this doesn't change the fact that the company still has a bunch of products in their pipeline. All that's really going to change is the price, so I think they'll may continue to dip a bit. But since they have so many catalysts coming up and a lot of drugs in their pipeline, I think they'll soon recover shortly after the reverse stock split. So the next stock I'm going to be talking about is ticker symbol EZEA. So EZEA they went up quite a bit this week. I think they went up 30% on Wednesday or something like that. And right now I would either sell or not buy anymore because. I think this week they won't go too too much higher up because they already announced something so it's unlikely that they'll announce uh, another news catalyst and things like that. Also EZA they do a bit of Bitcoin mining so if Bitcoin continues to go up maybe EZA could run up because of that but I'll talk about another stock that's a bit better to trade once Bitcoin keeps on going up. The next stock that I talked about last week was to get some of TRVN. TRVN right now I wouldn't buy, I'm recording this video on Thursday, so chances are the approval has already been announced either Friday or will be announced Monday pre-market, so I just wouldn't buy TRVN since they already had like a small like 20% run up or something like that. So the stocks for this week, August 10th, is the first stock I'm going to be talking about here, some of the DSSS. When I talked about DSSS, I said their merger vote was July 27th, I got that wrong, so that's my fault, sorry about that. But on their website it says August 10th they're having a shareholders meeting for the merger vote so the merger vote will be then the merger vote with Impact Biomedical so I think what will happen with DSSS is they'll continue to run up and once this merger vote is done on August 10th I think they could maybe see 12 to 15 dollars and once Impact Biomedical announces an update on their COVID-19 vaccine that they're working on I think DSSS could go even higher then 12 to 15 maybe 15 to 20 because they'll already be up from the announcement of their merger vote and then once impact biomedical gets some COVID-19 news that could send them even higher up because they spiked 40 percent a while ago because of impact biomedical's uh, COVID-19 news so once impact biomedical is under DSSS then it should be really, really good for them. The next stock I'm going to be talking about is ticker symbol UAVS. So UAVS I talked about a couple weeks ago and they recently had an offering. So they've dipped a tiny bit and right now it's an okay price to buy them at because this Amazon rumor could actually be true. Like I mentioned in that previous video, they're located in Wichita, Kansas. So is Amazon. And they also said they're partnering with a major e-commerce company. So there's rumors that this partnership with Amazon may actually happen. So it could happen any time in the next couple of weeks or maybe month or something like that. So I would just watch out for UAVS and maybe buy like a small position just to have just in case it goes up by a lot. Ticker symbol ADMP is the next stock that I'm going to be talking about. So ADMP, they're working on a COVID-19 vaccine. So right now ADMP is basically just like the waiting game for them to release the PR because they haven't provided an update on their COVID-19 vaccine in a while. So I think ADMP right now is a good time to buy them at because what will most likely happen is once they release that PR they'll easily break two dollars. We saw what happened with Tigger Summer OGN when I called them out at like a dollar something they then released a PR and then broke two dollars. So this will most likely happen with Tigger Summer ADMP is once as soon as as soon as they have a PR they'll break two dollars and I think without a PR they could maybe test a dollar seventy five because they did run up to a dollar fifty. So I would Definitely buy ADMP because it's just a waiting game for a PR that will eventually come. The next stock I'm going to be talking about is ticker symbol ETON. So ETON, they have an FDA approval on August 10th. And this could be a pretty good day trade because what may happen is if it doesn't get approved, then what I would do is buy the dip and then you can get like a 5-10% gain. So just look at the RSI. Once the RSI goes below 30, then buy in at the, that point below 30. And then you can ride up the price for like a 5 to 10% recovery. So this could be a pretty good day trade if ETON gets a disapproval. The last stock that I'm going to be talking about is Secret Cell MARA. So MARA, they do cryptocurrency mining and they've been running up a lot with Bitcoin. So they went from like 
two-ish dollars all the way to I think five dollars. So once if Bitcoin keeps on going up, what will probably happen is MARA they'll also continue to run up. So rather than trade in Bitcoin, which will only give you a couple percent gain, I would trade MARA. Some people are saying that it could go up to seven dollars. So if you are a bit optimistic on Bitcoin, then I would trade MARA since you can get some probably big gains since they'll potentially go up to seven dollars. And especially if Bitcoin continues to run up this week, so will MARA. And if there's any pullbacks in um, Bitcoin, then a lot of people sell from MARA. So you can buy those dips. If you have any questions, just comment them down below because I answer every single comment. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing because I'll be making weekly stock content. Thanks for watching. Bye.